I spent uh, you know, most of my career at Cisco. Uh, in between Cisco and Big Switch, I left for a TV over the internet startup. This was before Hulu. The, uh, and after three years, like just, I mean, I was just absolutely working my tail off and you know, trying to soak up as much as I possibly could about you know, A-B testing, consumer internet behavior, and pro I was out of product management design, so I got to you know, spend a ton of time working on design sense. Uh, at the end of that, I was like pretty good at two things, but I wasn't really great at either. And so I quit. I went back to networking. And now I can look back on it, and it hasn't even been that long, but you can see that the benefits of just sticking with it start to accrue exponentially. <coughs> You'd be amazed, like this is a, networking's like a $50 billion industry, but the number of people who drive it is very, very small. On both the vendor side and the customer side, at this point for me, it's like the same names just keep on coming up over and over again. And more and more often it's, Oh yeah, you know, I almost recruited him a couple years ago. Oh, I almost went to work for her back in, you know, back in the day. Oh, yeah, of course we've done business together. This was different business cards, but the idea that unfortunately you have to quit a lot of things and you have to quit a lot of them early in order to find one thing that you want to stick with and be one of the tops in your field. This to me is something that I think about more and more because you really want to think about what you need to give up in order to do that. And the hard decisions for me were not, hey, what do you want to be great at? The really hard decisions were, what do you want to give up along the way? 